Transport in Cuba Transportation in Cuba is composed of a system of railways, roads, airports, waterways, ports and harbors. Cuba built the first railway system in the Spanish Empire, before the 1848 start in the Iberian Peninsula. While the rail infrastructure dates from colonial and early Republican times, passenger service along the principal Havana to Santiago quarter is increasingly reliable and popular with tourists who can purchase tickets in Cuban convertible pesos. As with most public transport in Cuba, the vehicles used are second-hand, and the flagship train Francaise, French train between Havana and Santiago de Cuba is operated by coaches originally used in Europe between Paris and Amsterdam on the XT the train is formed by 12 coaches and a Chinese-built locomotive. With the order of 12 new Chinese locomotives, built specially for Cuban railways at China Northern Locomotives and Rolling Stock Works, services have been improving in reliability. Those benefiting the most are long-distance freight services with the French train Havana-Santiago being the only passenger train using one of the new Chinese locomotives regularly. Various orders are in place for 100 locomotives from China and various freight wagons and passenger coaches. Metro systems are not present in the island, although a suburban rail network exists in Havana. Urban tramways were in operation between 1858 and 1954, initially as horse-drawn systems. In the early 20th century electric trolley or storage battery-powered tramways were introduced in seven cities. Of these overhead wire systems were adopted in Havana, Guanabacoa, Matanzas, Cienfuegos, Camagüey and Santiago de Cuba. The total length of Cuba's highways is 60,858 kilometers, including expressways, autopistas, include older roads include the Carretera Central, and the Via Blanca from Havana to Matanzas. There are two national bus companies in Cuba. Viazul operate a fleet of modern and comfortable coaches on longer distance routes designed principally for tourists. Schedules, prices and ticket booking can be done online, at any of the major international airports or national terminals across Cuba. Astrobus, a bus service in Cuban national pesos. Designed to bring comfortable air-conditioned coaches to Cuban locals at an affordable price. The Astro bus lines operate with modern Chinese Yutong buses, and are accessible to Cuban residents of Cuba with their ID card, and is payable in Cuba pesos. Routes that have benefited most so far are those from Havana to each of the 13 provincial capitals of the country. In Havana, urban transportation used to be provided by a colorful selection of buses imported from the Soviet Union or Canada. Many of these vehicles were second-hand such as the 1,500 decommissioned Dutch buses, which the Netherlands donated to Cuba in the mid-1990s, as well as GM Fishbowl buses from Montreal, and despite the United States trade embargo, American-style yellow school buses, imported second-hand from Canada, are increasingly common sites. On seven key lines in and out of the city, service is provided by Chinese Zhengzhou Yutong buses. They replaced from 2008 the famous camelos, camels or dromedaries, after their humps. Trailer buses that hauled as many as 200 passengers in a passenger carrying trailer. After the upgrading of Seville's public bus fleet to CNG powered and new vehicles, many of the decommissioned ones were donated to the city of Havana. These bright orange buses still display the name of Transportes Urbanos de Sevilla, SAM, their former owner, and Seville's coat of arms is a sign of gratitude. In recent years, 2016, Urban transport in Havana consists entirely of modern Utah diesel buses. Seville and Icarus buses are gone. Since 2009, Cuba has imported sedans from Chinese automaker Geely to serve as police cars, taxis, and rental vehicles. Previously, the Soviet Union supplied Volgas, Moskviks, and Ladas, as well as heavy trucks like the Zil and the Kras. It is estimated that there are some 173,000 cars in Cuba. Most new vehicles came to Cuba from the United States until the 1960 United States embargo against Cuba ended importation of both cars and their parts. As many as 60,000 American vehicles are in use, nearly all in private hands. Of Cuba's vintage American cars, many have been modified with newer engines, disc brakes, and other parts, often scavenged from Soviet cars, and most bear the marks of decades of use. Pre-1960 vehicles remain the property of their original owners and descendants, and can be sold to other Cubans providing the proper traspaso certificate is in place. In 2011, the Cuban government legalized the purchase and sale of used post-1959 autos. In December 2013, Cubans were allowed to buy new cars from state-run dealerships, 
previously this had not been permitted. However, the old American cars on the road today have relatively high inefficiencies due in large part to the lack of modern technology. This has resulted in increased fuel consumption as well as adding to the economic plight of its owners. With these inefficiencies, noticeable drop in travel has occurred from an average of nearly 3,000 km slash year in the mid-1980s to less than 800 km slash year in 2000 to 2001. As the Cuban people try to save as much money as possible, when traveling is done, the cars are usually loaded past the maximum allowable weight and travel on the decaying roads, resulting in even more abuse to the already under-maintained vehicles. As a result of the special period in 1991, a period of food and energy shortages caused by the loss of the Soviet Union as a trading partner, hitchhiking and carpooling became important parts of Cuba's transportation system and society in general. In 1999, an article in Time magazine claimed in Cuba, Hitchhiking is custom. Hitchhiking is essential. Hitchhiking is what makes Cuba move. Besides the state-owned airline Cubana, Cubana de Aviation, the two other major Cuban airlines are Aero Caribbean and Aero Gaviota, both of whom operate a modern European and Russian aircraft. One other airline is Aero Taxi. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.